Welcome back to Champion News Talk Radio. This is our uh, final segment for the show. Jerry, thank you for staying with us. And um, Jerry, you said that you read the Illinois Pension Scam book, um, written by Bill Zettler, forwarded by Jack Roser. Forwarded it, huh? Well, you had a little something to do well, with it that. Well, did, it gives the, uh, yeah. Um, over 15 years ago, I started uh, uh, publishing all of the salaries and pensions of uh, everybody in the education system in the state of Illinois. Because I found out it was very hard to, to get it in a form people could understand. So I put it on a website. <clears throat> that was over 15 years ago. And it's gradually uh, you know, gotten people interested in, hey, this is a rotten system. 15 years ago, you were the skunk at the picnic for bringing this oh, stuff I, up, right? For 40 <laughs> years, I've been... Uh, I've been on to the scam that's going on in the school system here in Illinois. It is a rotten scam that these guys have done for two reasons. One of them is they've taken all this money and, uh, from, the, uh, from the teachers, the dues, and they've turned it into a corruptive form of, of political action that has, has made them so powerful politically that they've bankrupted the pensions and they've also spoiled the, the politics of the whole state. The amount of money that you can put into politics when you're taking $132 million a year from the teachers in the state and converting it into political corruption. Uh, and it isn't just the schools that gone through the whole warp and woof of the politics of the state of Illinois. It's hurting because our kids. And it's, it's, our cheating our and kids, it's cheating it's our kids cheating and our parents, teachers and it's our cheat, taxpayers. It's cheating interest. It, it has ruined right. the whole wonderful state of Illinois that was once was a whole star of the 48. Yeah. Well, the unions That's, have taken the position on the, on the pension that basically not one step back. Uh, they've got mm -hmm. these huge concessions during the 1970s and 80s and 90s. And it's made the system totally unsustainable. And mm -hmm. that, that's, I read that book, and it really does open your eyes to exactly what's going on. And, to and teachers. the teachers need to realize that this is not sustainable. That at some point, I think, I don't know who, who coined the phrase, you know, you're going to get a haircut or a beheading. Uh, <laughs> you, know, yes. we're, you know, I think the teachers need to be reasonable about what they're asking for in terms of pension. Um, you know, that they're either going to have to give a whole lot more money out of their paycheck for this or accept a little less benefit or uh, retire a little later. I mean. But they're being told know. that they, can, they, they cannot compromise. They cannot compromise. They, they need to. And like I said, they're either going to get a haircut now or a beheading later. I like uh, that. If we don't do something that. sensible, it will just plain crash. It'll crash. And, and no one will get anything. It's something over a hundred billion dollars in debt because of the mismanagement, because they have corrupted the whole political process mm -hmm. of the whole state of Illinois. Yeah. These rascals have really mixed it up. Well, the unions basically got the head in the sand approach. Um, their position is basically just raise taxes, uh, just yeah. get us more money, get us more money. And, and the, there's a point at which you're going to drive all your businesses out of the state, and you know you're going to basically. You know, you can't live parasitically like that against and against the hardworking business people in the state. And they, they'll leave. It's the same thing <laughs> nationally, though. Look what just happened if you, you know, with this debt ceiling. They yeah. keep raising taxes, raising sure, taxes. Yeah. And all I hear Barack Obama say, well, we're raising taxes on Americans most wealthy. Mm -hmm. Sticking that wedge in. You know what? Because these people yeah, are wealthy. Yeah. They're taking it from you. Yeah. What a crock of beans that is. Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, there isn't enough. If you took it all... Uh, from all the rich people, it, it would. If there's still not enough, but 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 for him to to, to to chastise the wealthy, excuse me, uh, the wealthy give philanthropically, the wealthy sure. give jobs. The I mean, anyway, you know what? I don't even need to go on that rant. <laughs> Jerry, thank you for coming in today. Yeah, Teachers, go to championnews.net. Go there, find out how you can get some of your union dues back. And to all our listeners, make sure you check out the Illinois Pension Scam Book to find out what's really going on with this unsustainable debt. And we will see you here next Sunday at 8 a.m. on AM 560. We are Champion News Talk Radio, your choice for the conservative voice.